interdigitated capacitor structures. In the previous class, we heard about how capacitors can be used as sensors and what are the combinations in they can used. A quick brief, we saw grounded and floating capacitive sensors. Now let us look at what are the sensors physically that are going to be used in these applications. These are called IDC or interdigitated capacitor. This is digit. Why is it called as a digit? Digit uh, is a biological derivation where they talk about fingers or your hands. So in this particular case, you will see that the capacitor is finger-like in nature where one plate of the parallel plate capacitor is connected and this is one of the terminals and the other terminal is placed in between each of these finger-like structures or digits. Right? So these form the two terminals of a capacitor. So we can call this as the bottom plate and the other can be called as a top plate. Right? So these are your two. So what are these bottom and top plates? So in a parallel plate capacitor, which is also called PPC as short form in many other terminologies, You have one of the plates on top. So here are the parallel plates of the capacitor, each having its own terminal and a dielectric in between them. Right? Now, if the dielectric is air, it is epsilon naught. If the dielectric is some other material, you will have an epsilon R, which is a relative material. So now the distance between these two is D. And the uh, area of the parallel plate capacitor, right? This area, surface area given here, is given as A. So the capacitance that is measured due to the field is given as epsilon naught epsilon r area by the distance between the capacitors. Now, in this parallel plate structure, how can you use uh, an IDC in this form? Now here, this is a planar structure, meaning it is in the same plane and not in two different planes. So where is the field going to start and end? The field will start from the top plate to the bottom plate. So this is the direction in which the field will be present on both sides. So this field will start from black and end at blue. So this is the field that is generated and this is the distance between the digits that is present. The area of the digit is given as this here. So this is your area. So this is the interdigitated capacitance that we have. Now with this one, where will you place the material that you want to test? The material that you would like to test can be placed above this interdigitated capacitor. Right? So this is how it would typically look. Now, in the next slide, we will see a physical representation of how a practical device would look.